foolish things, bitch, you tryna flex off. Oh. The news that last one alone, probably nothing, but you wanna be all in the coffin. Plus, I ain't even started. Trying to catch all bodies like a mosh pit. I'ma put them in the scope at the target. Feel like dang. What is up guys? We are back again with another interview, uh, interviewing today, uh, someone I've known about online for quite a while. I've seen a ton of his work and I had to have on, had to have him on the show to see deeper and in behind the scenes. So welcome to the five W's interview show. My name is Reese Sutter. I'm your host and our special, very special guest today is Michael, uh, founder and CEO of Shinigami Entertainment Collective, I guess is, is what you guys yeah. are doing by now. Uh, so yeah. welcome. What's up guys? My name is Michael. Cool. Is yeah, there... I own uh, Shinigami Films. Nice. Is there anything you want to tell them about yourself context-wise or anything you want to say before we jump into our first question? Um, no, that's pretty I just, just, I'm excited to be here. This is awesome. Cool. So Michael yeah. is, uh, runs a, co a film company that mostly works in the music video industry making stuff for that client but he's also branching out to a lot of other stuff these days and yeah so we'll just jump straight into our first question which is our who and uh michael i gotta know who is your dream client and what project would you make together man dream client yeah <sighs> who's that a Definitely want to do, yeah, Anneli Chapa. Yeah, that one. Okay. He, he, yeah, because his videographer kind of has like the same style as I do, so I yeah. feel like I could like do a really cool video for him. Nice. Any specific things in that video that like you you'd want to go crazy on? No, I mean his music pretty hype. So a lot of like fast cuts, a lot of like the uh, cut out effect and then there's just like a glow around him or something yeah just like go crazy with that kind of stuff nice cool uh i guess we'll just run straight into our second question following off the back of that so for the second question of the five w's is our what and i gotta know you pump out more music videos than i've ever seen anyone ever do what is your <laughs> workflow like to be able to create so many videos so consistently uh a good fast computer two monitors and just basic music theory like you gotta know where to make good cuts like on kicks on snares when you do hi-hat rolls it's you know those fast yeah. cut like you know shots like that so you've kind of just yeah, broken it down kind of just like a simple like repetitive like structure that you can repeat yeah Basically, yeah, when I start like sequencing everything, that's when like I can kind of get the idea of how I'm gonna about it, and then from there it just goes pretty by quickly because all the computers ask. How long so does render it time really take cut, to, like, like get one out ten times. It depends because some videos people want them simpler, some people want more complicated things. So it could take two to maybe a month. Okay. Two weeks, yeah. Yeah. That's a pretty good turnaround time. Yeah. It depends on the client, right? Just recently, like, we're doing more, like, storyline-based stuff. Mm -hmm. So yesterday we did a storyline where I have a female artist, and she's, like, like the, the boss of, of this, like, I guess you can say, like, a gang. Yeah. So she's basically, like, the head boss and she gets finessed by these other people and during that we're just basically going through the storyline of her uh, like being a badass basically which is very different for me because i don't usually i've never worked with a female artist and especially one that raps in, in like uk style well she is from the uk but yeah yeah that's really cool I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that one that sounds that sounds pretty neat cool so we'll roll straight into our third question which is where and for where where did the name slash image of shinigami and the samurai come from so before shinigami i was actually uh reaper films uh -huh. and 
from I didn't like the logo or the the name anymore, so I decided to rebrand. I still wanted to keep the the same kind of aesthetic of mm-hmm. like re- re- so I changed it to more of a Japanese style because in Japanese Shinigami is like a reaper or a death god. Mm-hmm. If anyone's ever watched Death Note, they kind of know the name from that. They know what's that, but it wasn't from that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What uh, what made you choose like the Reaper name in the first place? Was there anything behind that? Or? Um, not really. Just I mean, cool? I mean, like, I don't know how. Like, how do you feel about like? like acid and all that but basically i did that Mm -hmm. and then i kind of had this almost epiphany kind of thing and i just came up with reaper reaper films cool so i guess we'll just fly straight into our fourth question of the interview we'll just go straight into when and that is uh i gotta know you've been on set so many times you've done so many projects so many different things have happened. I've seen the stories. I've seen the posts. There's a lot going on, but I want to know when was the craziest moment you've had on a shoot? Craziest moment? Yeah. Ooh. I mean, there was a fight one time, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like there was yeah, it was a crazy thing. There was mace everywhere. Was uh, that like like some? And I was the last person to leave the scene. So I can hear the cop cars coming. Was that like something that happened outside the music video or was that caused by the filming of the music video? That was like a little bit after we stopped filming. Yeah. We were going to go to a different spot. But then an altercation happened with some random person. And then, yeah, they decided to come back and... (laughs) And tried to fight some people. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, they got maced and hurt pre- pretty bad, I'll, I'll tell you that. What location were you at when, when the fight went down? Uh, Kukulam. Nice. Yeah, we're in Kukulam, so, yeah. But, uh, yeah, that was crazy, because I was the last person to leave. So I'm just there with these two guys on the ground, like, in pain. And I'm just there packing my gimbal, packing my my camera. And I just get out of there while I'm choking on freaking bear mace. (laughs) Damn, okay. I guess guess it's a pretty crazy moment from a shoot. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we have flown through these. We've got some great answers. Cool, we'll just run into our fifth question of the five W's, and this is our last one. It is a big one. It is a doozy. It is our why. So I've been following you for a while online. I've seen you go through quite a few phases of kind of like identity. Like There's been Reaper. There's been Shinigami films. There's been a bunch of stuff. But I was I was peeping your profile as I was like preparing for this interview, and I noticed something. It's all gone. You've cut yeah. everything from it's the Instagram. It's all gone. It's all gone. There's two things that you forgot to take out. Uh, two of the reels are still there, but other than that, everything has disappeared from the gram. And there was like, there was like, oh, there was like hundreds of posts. It was so much content. And you you got rid of all your tags as well. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, my my question for the why is why the shift to the new brand slash removing all the content from the IG. What's what's next for what's the Shinigami Entertainment Collective's vision so basically we're expanding i'm not going to be working alone anymore i actually uh, have a little protege his name's abby and i'm just basically teaching him how to edit how to film and then i also have a creative director you might know him his name's westy uh yeah i'm, I'm familiar with westy yeah yeah uh and then my girlfriend she's a photographer so mm-hmm. She's going to be doing photos. And then I have another friend. She, She's also going to be doing videos. Nice. So basically, it's going to be a whole like team. And there's more packages like for like beginners to like more advanced. And then 
Also, on top of that, we're adding marketing. So we're doing PR stuff for literally anyone. Anything that you do, we can do marketing to. But this is going to take effective in November. Oh, wow. That's that's pretty cool. So, yeah. I'm pretty excited. It's a lot. It's a big change. I'm probably missing a lot more things to say about it, but it's a lot. <laughs> Are you going to be doing a lot more projects? Are you going to be increasing the amount or more so just making better, larger projects? Yeah, exactly. So because we put out so many videos, um, I can't really keep up with it. So I'm like, I can't do this all on my own. I got to get some help. So, yeah, I had to bring more people into it because – it was just a lot, mm-hmm. and like, I'm just really excited because this is going to be huge. This is like bigger than what I thought this this would be. Yeah, you know what I mean, just to give everyone listening some context, uh, how many music videos did you make in the last year? In the last year. Yeah. <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> That's a uh, yeah. It's a lot to count. I have you think the thing is like some of it I, I have posted and some of it like everything that I've done, and I I literally can't keep keep count because every month is just full and like I don't even know. Definitely more than more than eighty. Wow. That's because like- I also I also I'm I'm working on a, a whole like reel that mm-hmm. I'm doing for 2020. And I did upload about 50 videos in Premiere. Damn. So that's like at least a video a week. Uh, and most weeks you're doing two videos. Putting out two. Yeah, more like three. Yeah, one to three. Man, that's that's... That's a pretty dedication from what I've done in my music video work. Uh, just even just working and like being able to get everything to work that efficiently, even like working with artists and working with all these people. It, sometimes like things just take like months and months just to finish like yeah. such a small thing. It, it, I would, yeah. You found a way to just finesse it so well and just get so much content. Out exactly. So and like it is a, a, a lot of like work. Mm-hmm. And it does take a lot more time, but it's so worth it because I basically can schedule myself and just work with basically like anyone's schedule, right? So that's also a big part is just, mm-hmm. yeah. Because this is, this is what you do full-time. This is what you've been doing full-time for a while, right? For, for the last year, yeah. And I've been doing this for three years. So from Reaper Films to... Now Shinigami Entertainment Collective, which is now literally the final name. I'm going to keep it this way. It's not going to change every year. Great. Um, yeah, this is, yeah. Well, uh, that's amazing. I wish you all of the best luck for Shinigami Entertainment Thank Creative. You. Repping one of the best music video creators in the city right here. This man, Michael, has put out some of the best content with literally everyone you could possibly think of that raps in this city probably has a music video with this guy uh but that is the last of our five w's that is our why that is all of them done uh i just would like to say thank you to everyone for watching michael anything to plug you have the floor what do you got to say to these people uh yeah just follow the the instagram and you'll see all new content coming in november so very soon Nice. So I'll link that in the description. I'll have his links. I'll have his YouTube. I'll have his Instagram. I'll have all that information for you guys to go check this man out. But without further ado, my name is Madrisi Sitter. I have been your host. This is my guest, Michael, CEO and founder of Shinigami Entertainment Collective. Amazing music video creators and media creators for all sorts from Vancouver. Uh, Thank you guys and have a great day.